morning. I am so excited to talk to you about breath today. So breath is essential for our energy and it is essential for our sleep. And I have learned the hard way what it means to be an overbreather and when you're not breathing correctly. So it was such a joy and honor after talking to clients for many years about the power of breath and the power of nose breathing to get to interview James Nestor. If you have missed that, you definitely want to re-listen to it. Get his book, Breath, because it's scientific evidence and research for what I've been saying in clinic for years and what I anecdotally experienced in my life with my breath. So as we move into the Christmas season and as we start thinking about Christmas, it's been quite a stressful year for many of us. So we have a choice now to go into the Christmas season really busy, rushed, frantic with a whole bunch of to-dos, to events to go to, social things to go to, or we can still do we can still do all of that, but in a much calmer, relaxed way. And guess what? You know me, I love stacking benefits for you. So it's not about doing more. If it was about doing more, none of us would have great health. But it is a simple change that we can make with our breath and we can be really conscious of. So I've done many videos and many tours on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook about the power of our nervous system and becoming parasympathetic dominant. We've got many breath tools and exercises that you can watch that are quick and easy. So I'm going to suggest you go back to Instagram or YouTube and have a look at some of those. Today, I want to focus on the power of nose breathing. Now, when I did um, my first online course, we talk lots about sleep and lots about how to have a better night's sleep by breathing through your nose. I also share my personal testimonial around my bad sleep from childhood and around the fact that I was born with an obstruction in my nose. So I learned to breathe through my mouth. It was for survival. And like any habit, because I was so used to it, I just kept doing it and I didn't realize that it was harming my health in a bad way. And I really started, I knew that. And then when I was doing all the research into um, mask mouth, I realized about the nitro, about the um, impact of basically toxicity um, through overbreathing carbon dioxide. So firstly, check, are you a nose breather or are you a mouth breather? Are you a nose breather during the day and at night? Do you have problems sleeping? Do you have sleep apnea? Are you a snorer? Do you feel like your nose is blocked? Are you always getting sinus infections? Do you want better energy? Those are some of the key outcomes that you can get better sleep, better energy, and being in your parasympathetic when you become a nose breather. So when we're a mouth breather, and after my health declined so much and I was working with all these experts and specialists, we realized that because I was a mouth breather, I was over breathing. So I was doing about double the breaths per minute that the average person was doing. So think about the energy that I was using up for absolutely no return. I was getting no return bang for my buck, as I would like to say in my investment banking days. I was actually just depleting energy. And my energy was such a scarce resource, any amount that I could claw back, I needed to make sure that I was doing. So I went and worked with um, experts, the breathing experts, and trained with them so I could transform my own health. Now, the other thing is if you're a mouth breather at night, you're never going to get a full restorative parasympathetic sleep. And sleep is key for our hormones, for energy, for so detoxification. You know how much I love to talk about sleep. In fact, the next video is going to be all about sleep because I'm just doing corporate presentations on sleep to wrap up the year. So that's coming to your inbox. So wait for that one. But make sure that you are a nose breather at night. If you dribble or you wake up with a wet mouth, you know that you're or dry mouth, you know that you are a mouth breather at night. So what I had to do, and the quickest way, obviously you can be conscious of it, but you know that I always like life hacks. So the quickest way to change yourself into a nose breather is to tape your mouth with breathable tape. And I've also talked about that before. We're not going to suffocate you. You're going to be perfectly fine. But that is a quick way. It's like when you strap back your arm that you don't want to use anymore. You're creating a new habit. So the quickest way to create the habit is take it away. 
So it is key. Listen to the James Nesta interview. Jesse Mulligan also interviewed him the same day that I was talking about Mask Math on TV in Z. We've got so many tips and research. We've got his book and clinic. I've got it on my iPad. I loved it so much. Get the research, but pay attention today. Are you a mouth breather or a nose breather? This will change your health.